evening and welcome to Biz News. I'm Elizabeth Lee together with Tony Lopez. Good evening, Beth. Tonight we have for our guest. Happy New Year. Happy New Year, yeah. yes. Tonight we have for our guest Jeannie Havelosa, who is the director and co founder of Eon, Eco, Eco Store, and Eco C Sustainable uh, Initiative, and BPW Makati, which stands for Business and Professional right. Women's found here in, in Makati, and so many more. You're actually a social entrepreneur. Yes, I am. And yes. also a uh, culture advocate. advocate. An advocate for culture and sustainability. That's what I'd like to be able to just put it all in a capsule because I'm doing too many things, right? Yes. So let's just say advocate for culture and sustainability. And country branding specialist. Yes. And country branding specialist. All right, Tony. So let, let, let's start with you being, uh, uh, you know, starting uh, Eon first. All right. Eon start actually was my first venture in being an entrepreneur with my business partner, Juni Del Mundo, and that was 15 years ago. Yeah. We both were in government, and we decided we wanted to do the same things we were doing in government in private sector. We could be able to create more change there and it's more dynamic. So both of us had very strong entrepreneurial tendencies. We like marketing, creating yeah, projects, yeah. and we started off as an events company, which later morphed into a corporate communications company, which was later then changed into what we call now the stakeholder relations firm. Yeah, what's stakeholder relations firm? You know, firm? stakeholder relations firm is all about building trust-based relationships with all the different stakeholders of a project. It can be everything from a brand that needs um, revitalization in the market. It can be also certain stockholders, for example, or shareholders of a company having issues with community on the bottom of the pyramid issues. You might also have crisis management. Mm -hmm. So there's a whole gamut, and it's all about relationships. Mm -hmm. We actually were the ones who started the trust index yes. in the Philippine Trust Index here. We're on our second year for this, and I think what we try to do is really how can we position everybody to think from a perspective of country. How can we present country, the Philippines, mm -hmm. in its best so way? Nation building. What's Not only nation building, what's, but it's really more the presentation to the world and the clear touch points that we can say that the Philippines is great. Because it's good I and mean, we're great. I know there's a lot of issues, but at the end of it, if we can present this cohesively with clear messages outside, I think country branding would what, what be were, very strong What were the, 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 the latest results for that? For when it came to the, we've started this in 2005 approximately, mm. to be able to bring together as many stakeholders in government, private sector, to see how we can rally country branding together. And I think the latest uh, that we just did was that of the ADB, the ADB uh, meeting here last year, where we actually brought together a whole, um, the, all the touch points of being able to present the best of our country. The back, um, you know, what we, we heard, the feedback from that was everybody was just congratulating Secretary Purisima, who was then the head for the mm. finance group, no, that, as a Secretary of Finance, in how the whole ADB Manila 2012 was run. And Eon was behind that. We set up. How is trust index related to country branding? Well, the trust index allows. Trust in, who? Trust the country, the government, the we public? We actually do a. You did survey a survey. You did a survey. Of checking yeah. in the different industries and different sectors. Who is it that the people trust? Yeah. Who would they trust? How did the who? government do? Well, okay. Not as, so who not do as, the people trust most? Well, actually, the people trust um, they're very much the media, like media. what it is that you're the doing. Catholic church. Uh, the church is yeah. also high. What was interesting was the NGOs were not trusted NGOs. because of a lot of, uh, I think, of um, the political yeah, issues. Uh, and yet it's sad because the Philippines has one of the top numbers of NGOs in the whole of uh, Asia or the world. And we are actually doing a lot of good work so under the NGOs. So who is the most trusted person or institution in the Philippines? It's not the person. Ah. We actually look at sectors. Ah, sectors. So I think media is very high. That uh, very high mm -hmm. trust ratings, pastors, doctors. Magana, di ba? Yes. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Yeah. Well, of course, your teacher. No? Yeah, uh, but that's a, a, a professions. Uh, we are looking at the um, sectors. Uh, so we had government, we had private uh, uh, commercial So groupings. which institution is most trusted now? I think high, very still very high is the media and media. the church, yes. So um, we are trying to do it again Media's another year from charts. now. Um, I, the exact statistics, I, I think so, yes. No, no, the church is higher church than the media. Higher, oh. Yeah. Which goes to show that um, if we actually did try to influence, um, I think, the church with certain ways Who of presenting, also, I think it would be helpful. Um, I don't have it in my memory. Uh, 
because it was it's a really co comprehensive yeah. check. -in. Comprehensive. Yeah, that it's means a comprehensive study. The universe study. of respondents was large. We try to expand it now to um, the regions. Previously, region. it was Metro Manila, uh, Metro but Manila. now we've expanded to the regions. And uh, Metro Manila, kaya matas ang media. Yeah, and this is um, Eon's initiative. No, we pay for it. So yeah, it's it really for us. Two million to do a kind of survey. Yes, like that, yes, no? yeah. and it's our way of pro, uh, public service in a way because we offer it to our clients to see yeah. that they can check how the how, how about it brands, is. Gini, trusted brands. The brands, okay. Um, there's an agency that there's a gives book. out our trust. Trust, That's right. Trusted, most trusted brands. Yes, and our work when it comes to brands. It's not the same agency. No, it's not. Uh, our work when it comes to brands is how do you, we help our clients really position their uh, brands in the market with very clear messages. That's the most yeah. trusted brand in the world is Coca-Cola. Ah. It's now Apple, right? Apple. So, well, I love Apple. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's Apple all, the these, all these loyalists, right? Because yeah, yeah. it's also because of the technology world. Yeah, yeah. I think, Tony, because we're in the information age, yeah. you want to be with a, mm -hmm. you know, Formula yeah. One. Okay. So in, <laughs> like yeah. Apple, in branding and public relations and marketing. Mm -hmm. So the other responsibility or advocacy of yours is what naman yung this professional women and business? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. BPW Makati. Well, you know, internationally, this is uh, the, an international federation of uh, women that is in a, a hundred countries. Yeah. And it's been alive for almost 50 years or more. Yeah, so, senior citizens and yan, eh, no? That's the reason oh, why we opened oh, the BPW uh, Makati. Yeah. We want to make the younger Lower women, the, uh, the average, the average yeah. go yeah. down. And the younger women have a chance yeah. to yeah. come yeah. up. Yeah. You know, the image of our Filipina, again, still yeah. look, um, linked to country branding, yeah. no? The image of our Filipina DH, abroad is DH. that of DH or yeah. helpers. Uh -huh. And yet, on the other side, mm -hmm. we have fantastic professionals. Uh -huh. We have fantastic caring. There are at least two Filipina, we, mm -hmm. women. Filipina yeah. billionaires in the United States, no? Diba? They, I'm, I'm well, not they, sure they, they are. They married to tycoons and the tycoons died. <laughs> <laughs> yes, not only in the United States. There's one in Australia. I in Australia also, yeah, right? Yeah, also. All right, we're going to continue this discussion. We'll be right back. You're watching this. BPW Makati, Business Professional Women in Makati? Yes, we're focusing only on Makati. But 80% of the largest corporations are in Makati. Yes, and we're also focusing on women entrepreneurs who have at least three years, a start-up level, and um, professionals who have been at least three years in their field. Yeah. So what is important is that what we help them, them level up level and help up. them with mentoring. You organize them as a pressure group? We organize them as a strong group that can create uh, a statement, uh, that can solidify a network of women uh, who can help each other. Well, the uh, in, in, intention is to capture boards, uh, board seats. Uh, that's women corporate directors. I'm also a member there, but uh, that's another direction. An iba naman iba naman yun. Uh, uh -oh. Not to capture board seats. That's but this one, one is very important for networking. This one is specific for network and the younger set of women who would look for a place where they can network, who would look for the chance to be able to be part of an online oh, mentorship you internationally. Network, you need a network yes. outside oh. of the online thing. Huh? Yes, yeah. because we found out that the men network when they go drinking or when they go to the golf course, but the women have no chance they to really drink, come together. Actually, not the drink, because people. So women love to drink, I think. However, uh, because women are doing so many things, yeah. they're either wives or moms, or you know, they're running companies. This extra part of it of their lives there become mga, personal. Mga associations, <coughs> management association, Makati yeah. Business Club. Do, don't they provide uh, uh, 
outlets or media or for, for women? networking. Yeah. Well, yes, but it's really in a sense very male dominated, and oh, the focus. Dominated. Yeah, and sometimes the women who move in this sphere are really focused on business and the network. Uh, but you see, in the BPW, we're looking at how do you strengthen the women on an internal level so that she becomes internal, strong. Internal, you mean household external. or family? No, I mean internal, a sense internal of guts, you know? um, a sense of courage and coming out, oh. confidence, uh. the ability to be able to speak publicly. You see, the BPW's direction is how can we help build women Di to ba, stand for the international, in in the international in crowd? Yeah. Or, uh, yeah. speaking course or usually magayan or attend a finishing course. Yeah. How to walk nicely and uh, that's right. But yeah. then this one is specifically mentored by um, other successful okay. women. Uh, but one yeah. of the key okay. things also, uh, Jeannie, if you could mention, is the international connection That's right. for, for BPW. So, na kayo dyan, sa Makati group? We've started with a whole core group. We only launched it last November. We are opening membership up, and uh, this is to be reviewed by the group because it is a working group, uh, meaning you don't become a member just because you want to be a member. You're there to commit to work, uh, to be able to make sure women uh, are networked. It requires commitment. So, na kayo it requires dyan? commitment. At this uh, point, we're around 2025. 25. There's a whole li list of people who want to come in so oh. this year we begin but what is important ano um, bawal magdala ng asawa or boyfriend? you know what Tony you're going to be one of the those who will be the friends of the BPW ah, we are going ba? to have a, whole, a men's circle Dapat bawal ang men. no 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 kasama yung men because we are bad influence eh? no I think the men need to understand their role in help, helping uh, encourage so women men can be sexy also. And, uh, but, we, but men can be great mentors if they choose uh, to let me just add on to what Beth was saying, yeah. why we did this here locally. We needed to be able to link to an international global direction. I may be uh, PW. It's a federation internationally of 100 countries present there, almost 50 years. In federation, and that's not the Spanish uh, federation uh, no? this for is, senior women. No, this is different. Uh, In the United Nations, yeah. they have what we call the women, uh, gl uh, it's a compact. Oh. of you, the UN oh. that focuses on the women's economic principles. It's an empowerment principle. Mm -hmm. The BPW is a UN signatory internationally there. Oh. By us linking in the Philippines, we try, there are six different um, directions of BPW. Oh. It includes everything from equal pay day, oh. helping women entrepreneurs. Oh. It's a whole listing of clear mm -hmm. directives. In America, the women executives receive 40% less than the men executives. That's in right, America. yes. Oh. And, um, and there are very few women chief executives in Martina, not more than half a dozen. That's right. You know, the latest one being Melissa Mayer of oh, Yahoo. Yeah. Of uh, Tam Yahoo ba? Oh. But you know the and numbers are rising. a lot of bad mouthing. No? Mm. Only Imagine only how that is for the rest of the world, especially right. in Asia. Oh. But you know, in the Philippines, I think the Philippines need to take the lead. Mm. Yeah. We've got very good... Uh, well, the women the here fifth? are 50.5% of the population. That's right. They're among the most educated, assertive uh, yes. class of professionals. We've just been the in fifth in the gender, in the gender yeah. um, list recently. And we're the only one for women. And we have, have two women presidents for the head of America. No? Right. America mm. has none. So we're taking that... Um, uh, in, we really take it seriously in how can we help our Filipino women who are all over the world so how gender can we equality have the a Philippines is a template exactly. right? yes yeah, one yeah. of the most advanced so I think we need to push and that's why we're the ones um, we decided to start this so how do you encourage now uh, women entrepreneurs mm -hmm. to join BPW and what can they get out of it these okay. mentoring from so, international well we're on Facebook oh, you just uh, go Facebook. to the website uh, the Facebook if of women friend, kaya, if a friend, you know? and then you can go and give us message there we also have the whole advocacy of women stepping up which is upward and not like ano, lean in ano you know, women women stepping, stepping up. up stepping up because uh, you know the one in the US is lean in mm -hmm. right the one of lean in so we want to do a step up uh, so this is the whole advocacy that we're pushing and that by becoming members younger women become to have the chance to be mentored by other women both locally and internationally uh, internationally through a femtorship mentoring online which is uh, with a um, female a women's network it's an international women Filipino women group and then they part, they can have access to products that are financial products like for example certain loans that allow them to you know to borrow and then they don't pay interest Bambu Central regulation while they're pregnant. Ba may, uh, gender uh, 
uh, loans? Um, certain banks are now working on it. We're working with a partner. I know RCBC brand. has a credit card for women. Well, RCBC is the partner of BPW, uh, partner, and they're no. coming up with a real special. And if you open uh, an account, there is smaller deposit balance requirement. But more than yeah. that, there are special women um, yeah. services uh, and products that I they're giving us. I found out about that because I was inquiring about an RCBC loan. Sabi yeah. ng manager, if you're a woman, you, you get better terms. Yes, exactly. Yeah, oh. And that's what actually we're meeting this afternoon mm. to With bring it together uh, for yeah. the BPW members. Mm. So I think it's good for young women to be able to also move into a space so of networking. So the president of RCBC is a bachelor. No? Diba? The president? Very strong. Yeah, yeah he's uh, a bachelor. Yes. All right. Well, okay. <laughs> we're going to continue the discussion. We'll be right back. You're watching business. Welcome back. So, so Jeannie, what are some of the, the, the hurdles you think that women entrepreneurs are facing now? A financing is one of them? Financing, but it's also understand their own financing, not just being able to get financing, like loans, but to understand their own financing. No? And I think that's what we'd like to be able to strengthen them with. Also, a number of them might not have enough of the presentation skills in front of clients, how to do it correctly. We've done, we've heard from a lot I of our younger the, members. I think, Jenny, uh, well, uh, among the biggest hurdles is this uh, typecasting. Mm. Yeah. Right? yeah. 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 Words, yeah. cliches like ceiling, glass ceiling, mm -hmm. weaker sex. You're not the weaker sex. Huh? No, I don't think we uh, are. You live longer, you're yeah. majority of the population, and the word taray was invented for you. <laughs> The word taray? Taray, oh. Yeah, but the women are also very woman, nurturing. Oh. Oh. There's another Kasi side. Kasi pag sinabi lalaki taray, that's another gender. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we need him for the mentor. We, he'll be part of the men, the men's circle. <laughs> for the men's circle. For the men's circle. It's about the echo, echo store. Echo How store. How can you call it echo? Echo is uh, as an acronym yeah. for environment, community, hope, organization. Uh, so everything around that is what we we work with when we come to retail in selling products by our Kala core communities. echo as in repeat business. And it means echo what we echo. Ah, mm. You know, help repeat the environment. Business. You ah. need to buy because it's from our poor ah. communities. We help other people. So how many echo also. stores are there in this country? Right now we have in Surendra, we have in Podium, we have a ah. license here, our first one in Centris, and yeah. there's this year a number of people What products inquiring. are there? Oh, there's a, everything about sustainable mm -hmm. lifestyle. And they're sourced locally. That's and they're key all point. Filipino made, all mm -hmm. sourced locally, and all sourced from community groups or women. It's a mix because everything, we found out. Everything. Uh, yeah, we found out a year. Among, uh, vegetables, fruits. Well, we have a tri concept. We have a store, which are all the non food. And then you have the market, eco market, which are all helping natural and organic produce by local farmers. Oh. And then you have the eco cafe that serves the produce of the farm and certain foods of the community. There's an eco cafe in Serendra? Yes, there is. Uh, yeah. How much is a cup of coffee there? Uh, the cup of coffee is, no, of course not. I think it's better price. And it is organic when you think about it. Yeah. Oh, we help the poor farmers from the north to the south. You know, it's it's um it's a business and it's a social enterprise. Yeah. We balance the people, planet, and the dyan? profit. Yeah, you but know? how how about cost? You should come so that you know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> because if I tell you, you won't come anymore. <laughs> so if you come to the coffee to Echo Usually Cafe, usually my benchmark for a cup of coffee is one hundred pesos. Okay. If it is one ninety five, that's expensive. No, we are 150 not one ninety five. One fifty still expensive. The most should be one twenty. One ninety five oh. is not our cup yeah. of coffee. How yeah. do you balance now the cost from actually sourcing from the north all the way? I mean. 
to the from, south. Yes. Yeah, how is the network? How do you, yes. how do you make we the work also with a lot of institutional groups like uh, government and funding agencies like the Peace and Equity Foundation. Then we've been working the Philippine Commission for Women. We're aligned with the DTI. We work as groups no, to be able to see who are the groups that we can yeah. source from. Yeah. Because it's also hard to work one by one. We don't do like that. Like Jenny, mm. the coffee, where yeah. do you get the beans? Batangas? It's um, all over. Or Mountain we Province? Are, no, no, all over the country. All over like the one country. of our wonderful um, and, yeah, entrepreneur, women entrepreneurs huh, is from Sulu. Her name is Princess. No? And what is wonderful there is not only does she sell us great coffee, but she's actually managed to organize her whole community. Yes. Uh, she's organized her whole Princess community. Tarata? Uh, Princess El Sug, her, uh, is her name. Uh, no? So she's organized the whole what community. What are the nice bargains in the store? If I walk into the store, what is the most likely? I thought women were ADHD. <laughs> the question. I want to answer. But, but finish no. that one first. So you, yeah, yeah. what kind of, yeah. <laughs> so for I mean, I drew focus. I love him. He should be part of our women mentoring, but right? <laughs> A man mentoring. Yeah, maritime balance. Oh, mentor my. and femtor. Mentor and femtor. femtor. We should work on that best. <laughs> yeah, we should. He's the first in our list. Yeah. <laughs> but actually, I have already two men who I have to call because they're mm. going to form the whole council group oh, to start at least. Ah, yeah, you have to be ready now. I think that you, you will start know. hating me. You'll start huh? hating me if you get me into your group. You think oh, so? Oh, I'm nasty. Yeah? yeah? Uh, but sometimes it's good practice. Oh, yeah. Oh. It's like kung fu. Yeah, you can, like, can stand me. Sparring. You can yeah. stand the world. Oh. Right, exactly. <laughs> so it's a sparring. We need to get him in with the man. Yes, uh, yeah? If I walk into Echo Store, yes. what are the like, uh, good buys that I can get? Everything's a good buy because you're helping community. It's green. It's environmental uh, uh, friendly. Yeah, Our prices are pretty good. Mantel jan or coasters, maganya. Let's start from your lifestyle. When you wake up, you're going to have to take a shower. Uh, we have wonderful natural soap. It's uh, shampoo. We have it there. You uh, clean your house. We have home cleaning solutions. You need to eat. We have soap. everything Ang balang natural from organic. About 60 pesos per ba small bar. Eh? It should not be more than 25 pesos because that's the that's the benchmark should be safeguard. Uh, You're balancing off community uh, uh, base also and multinational. Uh, no, that do I you think, Jeannie, the trend is whole. moving more towards that? natural sub nyo, honey base ba? Honey. We have a lot of different honey kinds, base. yeah. Shampoo. Different kinds, Shampoo. different kinds. So honey. many lines. That's why you need to and go to the And that's why store. you need to come to the store. Exactly. Yeah, instead of extra. <laughs> And you accept credit card. <laughs> yes, we accept credit card. But Definitely. is the trend going more towards that where Definitely. people are aware and want to participate Definitely. by Pinoy, by local? It's Definitely. Just Not just Pinoy, by local, which is also country yeah. branding, yes. but it's also about the trend of wellness internationally. Everybody's mm -hmm. looking to a healthier lifestyle, a lifestyle that is yeah. more sustainable yeah. and not just profit, profit, profit. No, because man, poverty Jeannie, is too wide There's globally. a sudden yeah. explosion of interest about women. No? Mm -hmm. Siguro uh, because we have been we won last year four major beauty titles. Mm, titles, no? yes. Yeah, but but para may explosion of interest about women. Yes. Is, are they just suddenly assertive? Or um, no, the I world think, just woke up. And I said, think the world oh. needs to be balanced, Tony. <laughs> and I think the way women think uh, and the way they will manage uh, life and work will allow the balance where men but, uh, have always one of dominated. One the you should try to influence is the charts. It's very sexist. There are very few women saints. Name some. Oh. Saint Therese of Avila. The entire alphabet has a man uh, saint. Diba? Well, Mary that's saint. the whole process oh. what we're trying to Anthony, do. Anthony, But we'd like to focus on the economic aspect ah, kanal, rather uh, than the <laughs> religious side of it. Because <laughs> the women are naturally religious. Eh? Oh. Which is a sign sometimes of hopelessness. Diba? What, you, you, what you cannot do by yourself, you ask God to... Help you out. Isn't that a greater power? Their mentor is God. No, but the the first power should be the the natural power, which, which comes your, from a bigger your source. Mind and body, which comes from a bigger source. And the women are physically better structured than the men, right? You know, they have better resistance to diseases, to pressure. Mm -hmm. They have less susceptib susceptibility. That's health already. Diba? We've gone through religion. <laughs> it's talaga, the no, men it's live longer. It's good by at least three to five years. The men the, live longer? The women? The women live longer. The men die first. The men die first. That shows you the kind of pressure the men undergo huh? with, with the men, with the women. 
We're going to have to fem tour the men. We have to fem tour this. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're going to cut this short break. You're watching this. We're speaking with Jeannie Havilah. So we'll be right back. <laughs> So Jeannie, what does ECOSI Foundation, what does it stand for? What does it do? ECOSI Foundation is a non-profit arm of the ECO Store. spelling ECOSI. E-C-H-O-S-I. Empowering communities with hope and opportunities through sustainable initiatives. Uh, this is the development side of Echo Store, the back room. Mm -hmm. So we go all the way down to the, bo the bottom of the pyramid, down to the grassroots, and help the poor develop products and bring it up to niche and specialty markets. Yeah. What we realized was that even mm -hmm. if government is helping and other groups are helping, it's all done in silos. So we managed to bring it together and we've stepped into the gaps. So we're focused on all the commodities like coffee, cocoa sap, cocoa sugar, you know, rice. Our slow food movement at Echo Store is something we're pushing because we want to make sure that, again, like country branding, there are certain kinds of food found only in the country. Like our Ifugao Tinawan rice, it's slowly becoming extinct. Our um, mm. Barako coffee seeds are becoming, beans are extinct. So that's one angle which we're developing. On the other side is our cultural indigenous women weaving textiles mm. all over the country. That one we're also focusing. Non, yeah, you're doing we food, food and non-food. Non -food. The reason for this is because we've lost our textile industry. Mm. China and India are dominant all over the world. Yeah. So now we need to go back and make our weavers entrepreneurs. And a lot of them are women. So we're working from the north to the south, specific to the cultural indigenous communities and natural fibers, because this is our culture. Again, country branding. Our so scarves, everything we do actually comes together. Our scarves and shorts are yeah. among the best in the world. Huh? So they're really handmade. Yes, so, but in the world market now, there are a lot of different trends where pricing becomes too high when it's uh, woven uh, by a woman for four months. So you need to help the supply chain and the production capacity. Because, you know, mm -hmm. if we don't do this for our little people, through the Ecosi Foundation and EcoStore marketing it, what happens when the ASEAN integration happens? Mm -hmm. You will be open, and right Catalonia now, and Thai silk, mm -hmm. Thai, Vietnam, and oh. Lao, their products are really Even beautifully and their gems, developed. Also their gems. Yes. Oh. And we don't have <clears throat> enough of that here. So we need to help that bottom level go up to become micro-entrepreneurs, to become social entrepreneurs. And women are key in that leveling up. Uh, On the other side, the commodity sector, you need to help our farmers mm -hmm. bring in the more organic processes. Because in the international market, when we trade outside, they are actually giving us higher prices. They're supreme. So yeah, you provide the link. Premium. But unmade, no? Yes. You provide unmade. the link. Unmade and organic yeah. and natural. So mm -hmm. Echo Store is focusing there. We want to make sure we are really developing the slow food and what is uniquely ours. And at the same time, our culture seen through our weaves and the story of our people. And that's the niche. Because we finished now, we started the green. We started the green store. And so a lot are there. So great. People are echoing. Yeah. Yeah. We started low coverism. Great. There's a lot of chefs now that are doing low coverism. Yeah. Natural organic farming. There's a lot now. So we want to move in a direction that is, again, a little different. And I think because like I'm a culture expert, I would like to say we should position our country speaking on behalf of culture. Mm. Because when the global world is there, what differentiates you? It is our culture. Yes. Everywhere in the world, the malls look the same. Right. And yet people can say, I love Thai jasmine rice. I love, for example, um, the textiles of Lao. They mm. have a name, Japanese food, diba? Right? Oh. Unique, eh? So what is Filipino? We need to begin with ourselves. We have to love our products, but we need to develop it so that it is world class. And that is a space that EcoStore and the Ecosi Foundation has stepped on, and the space where I, as Eon, focus on for country branding. Mm. So it's all linked, actually. And our role is as stakeholder relations in Eon. 
how can we bring everyone together? Is there an example of, of success, for example, for weaving <coughs> that was linked yes. up internationally? Right. So the, we're work, we've worked recently, just two months ago, with the Blaan and the Bagobo tribes. And what we've done there is fix their pricing, check their production capacity, literally get to the ground with bilaan, them. Bilaan, Blaan. Blaan. Uh, Blaan in the south, near Mount uh, Apo. B, uh, B apostrophe yeah, yeah. Blaan. Yeah. And um, the Bagobo. So I'm focusing yeah. there first. Now, they do They're textile weaving. They're very nice, weaving. intricate designs now. Yes, but and one time, work. Philippine Airlines used the Tivoli motif for the... Uh, yeah. Uniforms yes. of the mm -hmm. But design. our challenge is how can we make it sustainable? Because oh, yeah. one off, eh, when yeah. people buy, the reason is they have so, no uh, contact consistency, there. Consistency also. of quality, no? the production around. capacity, the consistency, and oh. the market access. Yeah. So that's what we're addressing. Yeah. So even teaching them how to be able to look at little seeds that they're gathering, and we can fix this rather than Im get importation from China and do the beadwork. Yeah. That's one social enterprise I'm focusing on. The other one is, can we look at our natural dyes? Why are we buying chemical dyes? Why can't we bring the traditional dyes? Do we have natural dye? dyes? We do have natural dyes. Uh, but then the, our ube is violet, uh, our uh, yellow turmeric. Mm. So we have the indigenous people with this turmeric, knowledge. Huh? Yellow, yellow siya. It's also pala good for um, not wellness in uh, the <laughs> other things, no? yeah. for tea and all. Uh, but on the weaving side, it gives us a wonderful yellow color. So in being able to work with our natural abaca and our fibers with the natural dyes, na abaka natin, that no? becomes then another enterprise mm -hmm. and not just weaving. Yeah. So you can expand the base of the pyramid in the tribal group and the cultural indigenous communities without them losing the stories of their ancestors mm -hmm. without them being bastardized and forced yeah. by foreign buyers to say change that color to violet or to fuchsia but why would they change it to fuchsia right. when their culture does not speak about fuchsia that's but right. speaks about the beauty of the earth's dyes and there so is that's a market for this that's what and there's saying. a market, there's a market, for market for this. So so we, we've just um, sold uh, to a whole group here a group of interior designers have agreed to help us for their hotels on an institutional way rather than retail so that's another direction which the eco store and the ecosy foundation is is looking the at the women i know who are involved in this uh, si, si lauren saka si nikki cosette ng dati mm. uh, they, I think they produce a book called Habi. Yes. Yeah, Habi. Well, um, I think theirs is in the promotion of it. Okay. We'd, we're focused on the production, production. the economic viability of our, of our weavers yeah. and our farmers yeah. to be able to give them higher market so that they have higher profit. Because weaving in the yeah. Philippines is a diminishing art, you eh, know? But it's, we have beautiful oh, The weave. younger generation yeah. don't yeah. want to yeah. go after just it. Like, no? Just oh, like farming. Oh, yeah. It's like farming also. Yeah. You need to make it sexy. Yeah. For, That's right. Yeah. And you need to open markets. Yeah. That's what's important. Yeah. Because at the end, we need to handhold a little bit uh, our people, our producers, the small producers. Mm -hmm. And in the process, that's the space that EcoStore and Ecosi Foundation are capital, taking. Eh? Mm -hmm. yeah. The micro uh, financing. Yes. Yeah. Uh -uh. That's why RCBC coming up. Coming up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, we're going to continue this discussion. We'll be right back. You're watching this news. emerging trends affecting women today? I think major is the awareness that women awareness. are coming together as groups. Yeah, yeah. Internationally and locally, there's a real drive for the networking to strengthen. Yeah. The knowledge that women are consumers yeah. and there are products being created specific for women. Yeah. There are services now offered for women and a lot yeah. more chances. Philippines is way ahead in, yeah. the, uh, in the Asian uh, region and I think we should leverage on this as women. So that's, that's I think, also Maganda key. Maganda to move kasi one of the most useless laws in this country, yung disabled parking law. 
every floor has four slots. Convert nyo na lang, disabled or women. And for pregnant oh, women or oh, disabled? Yeah, diba? Kasi women dam yun si dala nila baby. That's right. Diba, yeah. By the word, very essence of it, disabled, you cannot drive. It's a oxymoron, a driver who is a disabled. Pa convert nyo na lang in law in favor of women. There is there a law? There's a oh, law. law. No? There's, there's law. It's Every a parking, you have four slots per level. Maybe we should oh. have pregnant women. Limbawa, also. mega <laughs> mall. Limbawa, <laughs> Why six, not? Heck, six floors. Time is, time is four. Twenty-four slots na nakatiwangwang lang. Kunin na lang yun, bigay sa babae yun. Sabihin nyo mga security guards. That's Kung a good thought. Mo, single woman driving or with a baby or buntis, mm -hmm. bigay sa kanya yung slot. That's a good oh, thought. Oh. Well, Beth, let's think oh. about it. <laughs> Off, offline, let's think about it. Oh. Yeah. Because it's so difficult yeah. to carry a baby. Ah. Bababa mo pa yung That's correct. Uh, baby chair. Exactly. Ganyan. Oh. They should be you given know? priority sa parking. Mm -hmm. Mga women, kaya-kaya namang maglakad na mga yan. Eh. Oh. I agree. Oh. I agree. We'll take oh. that up. Yeah. Noted. Women drivers. <laughs> Sabigay yun sa women drivers. Noted. Driver. Yeah, Noted. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So there, so... And also, I want to say that in 2015, the Philippines will be hosting... 2015, huh? Yeah. Next year. Yeah, 2015, yeah. Yes. The women will be, will be hosting um, the APEC. 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 Yeah. The, the Women in the Economy Summit will be held APEC here. APEC by is what venue? Manila will be Manila 2015, ba? yeah. But what's interesting is because in 1998, the women agenda, it was the Philippines who pushed it yeah. to become mainstream discussion. So now it's coming full stream. Yeah. So on 2015, we will be hosting the Women in the Economy, in the Economy Summit. And that's close to 1,000 women coming in. Aside from, of course, the other APEC meetings. How many 1,000 women summit? We are planning, summit, yes, uh, under okay, APEC, yeah. yeah. And that's another reason why we're bringing the women force together to be able to, you know, have clear yeah. policies yeah. by that time yeah. for clear change. So the yes. future is bright for women professionals. The future is shining. Entrepreneurs. Uh, yeah. Future is shining. Yeah, yeah. Mm. You're going to conquer the world finally. No, we are, we are yeah. going to come in great <laughs> partnership with the men, see, not to conquer few, the men. There are very few w great women warriors, you know, outside the Philippines. Meron lang tayo, Gabriela Silang, Wangyan. But there are so many women bayanis oh. all over. Kaya lang pag, uh, pag uh, warrior yung every day, every day. Warrior yung babae tinatawag na Amazon, which I think is derogatory. You think so? Yeah. Uh, Amazon okay. di para ka kagat muscle, all muscle and ano no brain. Uh, pag sinabing pure warrior, yan, babae dapat yon, because they are naturally warriors, eh, di ba? They're Kasi also they preserve caregivers. Mankind. They preserve mankind, so they are naturally leaders. Uh, yeah. Suited to ward off evil, opponents, yan. Right. Uh, threats, oh. diba? They're warriors by nature. Correct. Oh, because how can mankind He's now survive? Now qualified to be yeah, part yeah. of the. He's council. actually <laughs> giving himself clear points to be <laughs> there invited, you go. right? There you go. Okay, Tony. Thank you, thank you Jenny. <laughs> More power to you, Jenny. Thank you very thank much. Thank you for being on our show, and thank, thank you for you. enlightening us and our. our viewers. Thank you watch you. another episode of Biz News. I'm Elizabeth Lee together with Tony Lopez. See us every Monday at 7 p.m. Have a good night and God bless. Thanks for watching.